Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. In this one, we're talking about the NBA for Friday, April 12th. In this video, we have five picks for you guys to consider, so stay tuned to hear all five of the picks. I want you guys to get in the free Discord. It's absolutely popping off. People posting, talking about picks for the NBA, MLB, NHL in here. Get in for free. We don't open up the free sections that much, but trying to build it up before the NBA playoffs start. We also have a paid private section of the Discord where you can see a ton of picks given out and a ton of massive slips being hit. So if you want to check that out also, I'm one capper in there. We have five plus other cappers given out picks. So that'll be linked down below as well. Also, we have some great deals for you guys. Check out the top sportsbook promos right now. DraftKings bet just five bucks, get $150 instantly. FanDuel bet MGM if you're not on those. They have the same deal. Click that link down below and get started over there before the playoffs. Great deals, $150 free essentially for just betting five. All right, so definitely get in the free Discord. Check out the paid Discord if that interests you as well for a ton more picks from five plus other cappers, including myself. I give out more picks and those sportsbook promos. But now let's get into this video. For the first one, the first pick I'm going to go to is going to be Chet Holmgren on the over of his points at just 14 and a half. Actually a good matchup here against Milwaukee. Hopefully they can keep it close. They actually looked pretty good without Giannis. Uh, in their last game, so hopefully they keep it close against OKC here. But Chet Holmgren, great spot. He's been hitting this line all season, basically, and has a good matchup here against the Milwaukee Bucks. So liking Chet in this one, I'm going to take a look at this one over on Outlier, which is a great tool with a free seven-day trial. If you use the link in the description, you're going to get that trial. Uh, it's pretty great. We'll be using it all video, so if you want to check it out for yourself, just click that link to get the trial. But on the season, he's hit this 66% of the time, two-thirds of the games. And uh, Milwaukee, 21st defense in the league, so bottom half. Against centers, though, 26, so near the bottom against centers, allowing almost 20 points per game to centers. Chad Holmgren, I'm not really sure what happened last game. He left at halftime, only scored nine points, but didn't play at all the second half. But apparently he's fine. Honestly, I can't find anywhere why he didn't play in the second half. I'm sure it was some kind of small injury, but he has no injury designation going into this game. So I expect him to play and play his normal minutes. But a cool thing you can do on Outlier is, you know, look at games where he's only played a certain amount of minutes. So he's averaging 29.7 on this season. I think it's pretty safe we can give him like 28 minutes. When he plays at least 28 minutes between 28 and 42, he's hit this 76% of the time. So what that does is just kind of knock out games like last game where he played nine minutes, didn't play in the second half. That's not normal what is going to happen. And that one actually did get rebooted on prize picks as well but 76 percent hit rate when he plays at least 28 minutes which is like two under his season average so i think that's pretty safe to give him that good matchup here for chet liking him as the first pick for the second one call me crazy i'm going to be going to an under on the king lebron james 24 and a half points against memphis memphis has eight players and they're all basically bench players that you know some of the like or not even like nba players really they just came up for the end of the season here. They have eight guys they're going to run out against the Lakers who need to win to get a better playing spot here. I think that they're absolutely going to get wrecked here. I don't know what the spread is, but I'm guessing it's close to 20. And I don't think LeBron's going to hit 25 points in this just because I don't think he's going to play the minutes. I think anyone will be able to score at will. We've seen LeBron have big scoring games like when he played the Warriors last game where he had to do it all, take the ball in his hands. I think anyone's going to be able to, to score on this Memphis team, and they're going to take care of him pretty easily. I could see LeBron playing under 30 minutes as well. So let's come over to Outlier, look at this one. LeBron, on this season, he's been hitting this one at a rate of 57%, so pretty good actually. But if we look... There's some blowout games where he played 28 minutes here. Another blowout game, he played 28. Another one, just 31. Versus his normal, you know, 35 plus minutes. So I think in this game, he's going to play between 28 and 35 minutes. So you can give him the range here when he plays between 28 
and 35. He's only hit this 39% of the time this season. Uh, I think that, you know, it's just going to be a route and LeBron's not going to be super aggressive scoring the ball in this one. So for that reason, going to the under on LeBron in this game that I don't, (laughs) against Memphis, it's going to be crazy. They have eight guys and it's like a full strength Lakers team. So going to be taking the under. For the next one here, we're going to come to Outlier, which does have a free seven-day trial as well. And then if you use the link down below, you get that trial plus 25% off if you want to pay for it after that. But basically what they do is they take lines from prize picks and underdog, all these player prop sites, and compare them against other sports books that have these crazy promos going like DraftKings, MGM. They all have this at 31 and a half. So you get the value here, 32.5 for PRA of Siakam. In a tough matchup against the Cavs, not one that I like, so I'm taking the under as well. And get a bit of savings getting it at 32 instead of 31, like every other site really has it at. So we're going to be taking Siakam here on the under of his PRA at 32.5. On the season, he's gone under this 58% of games. And then you can look at games with Tyrese Halliburton. So basically, you know, when he's been on the Pacers, he's gone under the 60% of the time, gone under it in the last three straights by a good margin, 28, 27, 28. So wasn't really that close to hitting it in that game. Cleveland top 10 defensive ranks in all the PRA stats here. So a tough matchup as well for Siakam. So going to the under on him, the odds jam. Pick of the day here. Definitely check them out as well. Great tool to find some value picks. So we're going to come over here and lock in that Siakam on the under. And you do notice that it did change to 31 and a half. The thing with Odd Jam is they have the top value picks. That these player props might change pretty soon. I did refresh it right before starting the video. It's already changed on prize picks. But for those in the private Discord, I do post them. You can see here in my private channel before the video is out, we get at it 32 and a half. So another reason to join up in the paid private discord, ton more picks over there, early access to the picks in the video as well. But odds jam, they have great picks, but you got to jump on them fast to get that value. The next one I'm going to go to is going to be Jared Allen in that same game. And you know, any game against Indiana, the opposing team is bound to score more points than their average. Jared Allen, two and a half assists. I'm liking him on this one. He's been hitting it pretty good this season. And we can take a look. It's a weird one. Jared Allen assists just two and a half, but he's hit it 55% of the time this season. And he's averaging 31.7 minutes on this season. Uh, But as of late, he's definitely been playing a lot more if we pull up that minute. In his last five games, he's played 33 or more in each of them. So I think we can at least give him 32 in this game, which I think is pretty safe. And if we do give him 32 minutes, he said this in 66% of games or two thirds of games. So hitting this one at a good clip in his last 10, hit this in seven of his last 10 as well. And, you know, didn't hit it in two of these where he played like 26 minutes in, in a blowout game here. So I think with the increase of minutes as of late, he should be able to smash this one in a great fast-paced matchup here. So like an Allen in this game. For the next one, we're going to Joel Embiid. For Embiid, we're going over on the points. Tough matchup against Orlando. I will give him that. But Embiid looks like he hasn't really missed a step. He's getting back in to like full swing of things almost immediately here, scoring the ball pretty effectively for Embiid and You know, I think this one's too low. We could probably get a bump on this one pretty soon. Over 29.5 on the season. He's hit it in 79% of games, nearly 80% of games. And three of those where he didn't hit it was the game he got injured, and then his first game back, and then his second game back. But his last two got 30 and 37. I think he's going to be right back up there scoring over 30 a night, like every single night again. So... Really liking Embiid in this one. Even in a tough matchup, we saw the minutes. He played almost 36 last game, the most since he's been back after the injury. You know, one game only played 22 minutes and still was able to score 30 points. So liking Embiid 
in this one and that's going to be the last pick so if you do want more picks definitely check out the private disc we have five plus cappers posting picks you can see these massive hits two six pick hits here for 250 and 237 ton of slips being hit over in the private discord check it out that'll be linked down below but we also want to open up the free section of the discord where people are talking about their picks in nba mlb all that so definitely jump in the free at least also, sign up for these sports books down below. You can find all the best promos in one place here with that link. So, check that out. Appreciate you guys watching the video. We'll see you in the Discord and subscribe to the channel.